Hello, good evening students. So myself Shwetat Mircho, again come back to the channel. So you know, uh, I was teaching the chapter 2 components of food. So first two days about this chapter, you have learned about the table of vitamins and the table of minerals. So today you will listen, means today you will learn basically a very nice topic that is BMI. So though it is not in your NCRT book, but it is very much chapter related part. So that's why I will very nicely explain this part. Actually BMI, you can see in your report card, in front page of the report card, everyone can see their BMI, it is written. So to know your BMI, means after this video you can also calculate your own BMI so to know your BMI at first you have to know your height which will be in centimeter or in meter if you will know it in centimeter you have to convert it into meter then you have to know your weight in kg so after knowing these two things then you can easily calculate your BMI so uh, very nice topic so today we will learn this thing. So let's come to the main point. Let's see. Okay. So let's come to the main point. So BMI, BMI, the full form is body mass index. Already written beside that. Now we will learn a little bit about this BMI. BMI is body mass index. Already written. It is an attempt to quantify the amount of muscles and fat in an individual category. For basically a human being or any other animal, you can also say that person, basically for human being, that person is underweight, normal weight, overweight, and obese or obese on account of its value. So we have to calculate the value of that particular person this BMI value afterwards we can come to the conclusion that particular person is underweight or normal weight or overweight or obese. So let's see how we can determine the value. First of all we will see the range of BMI. On the basis of the value how we can say that person is underweight, normal weight, overweight or obese. If the value is for the BMI after calculating the BMI of that person if the value is 18.3 kg per meter square less than that means the value should be less than 18.5 kg per meter square before that I want to say the unit of BMI will always be measured in kg per meter square what portion I am showing kg per meter square the weight should be in kg and the height should be in meter so the unit will become kg per meter square so if the value of BMI after calculating you will get 18.5 less than 18.5 then that particular person will be called underweight. If the value range will be within 18.5 to 25, 18.5 to 25, then the value if the value will be 18.5 in between 18.5 and 25, then the person should be called normal weight. If the value will be in between the range 25 to 30, in between, less 30 obviously, more than 25 and less than 30 or you can say 25 to 30, means less 30 but 25 to 30, this range, then that person will be called as overweight. But if the value should increase more than 30 or exact 30, exact 30 or more than 30 kg per meter square, then particular person will be called as obese. Obese is the highest category of this BMI range. So follow this range properly to understand in which category or in which range you can say the person is underweight or normal weight or overweight or obese. So now we will see how we can determine the BMI of that particular person. Let's see. See, I have given a chart or list. So, individual persons, obviously, I have given total six. First two, I will do by myself and I will make you understand how you have to calculate and rest of the four, you have to calculate by yourself as a homework. So, first see, I have written the height in centimeter and the weight in kg. Height in centimeter and the weight in kg. 
the first height is 127 centimeter and weight is 24.6 kg so now how we can determine the value of bmi of that particular person so see i have written here height 127 centimeter first of all if you know the height in centimeter then you have to convert it in meter so from centimeter to meter means 1.27 meter and you know i think the conversion how you can convert or how may, you may convert the centimeter to meter that you know from your previous class 5 so height 127 centimeter so you have to divide this centimeter by 100 to get the value in meter that is called centimeter to meter conversion now weight is already given and it will be measured in kg so it is given already 24.6 so it is here written 24.6 kg now bmi bmi means weight by height square weight by height square square means the height you have to write two times as a product as a product so that becomes square so weight equals to 24.6 from here are written and height square so height means in meter 1.27 already written and it is written in square so now unit is already written kg per meter square now second step see 24.6 already it is here now square square means already told the value should be written in product form two times so 1.27 square so i have written here two times 1.27 into 1.27 now 24.6 you have to divide by two times of 1.27 you can multiply these two things at first then you can divide or individually also two times you can divide 24.6 by 1.27 two times so that is your choice how you will do so after doing that you will get the value 15.25 kg per meter square 15.25 kg per meter square so now according to the range if it will be less than 18.5 this value less than 18.5 then it will be under weight category so that's why i have written here under weight so this way you can measure the value of bmi one more example i have shown here so second example it is height it is given 143 centimeter and weight it is given 39.2 kg so now come to the second example height 143 centimeter so same way divided by 100 so you will get the value in meter 1.43 meter now weight already given 39.2 that's why i have written 39.2 kg now bmi same way weight by height square so weight i have mentioned over here 39.2 and height it is here 1.43 square so unit is also here kg per meter square now the second step it will be 39.2 by 1.43 square means i have to write or we have to write two times in uh, the form of product so 1.43 into 1.43 now you have to calculate same way either you can divide 39.2 by 1.42 two times or you may do this thing that 1.43 into 1.42 do the product and with the value of product you divide 39.2 afterwards you will get the value 19.17 actually you will get the value 19.1 uh, 6 9 1 6 9 so uh, as a decimal formation so that you know after two place decimal you have to do one uh, if the value will be more than 5 so then you have to add this third value will be one uh, more than 5 or 5 then you have to add one more with the second place so that's why i have done this 19.169 that value becomes 19.17 or directly i have written it so 19.17 means it is in the range of in between 18.5 and 25 18.5 and 25 you may follow the range so in between the range it is here so that's why i have written here normal weight actually the normal weight range is in between 18.5 and 25 so in between the range it is here that's why i have written here normal weight so this way you have to calculate the particular person is underweight, normal weight, overweight or it is obese. The person is obese or not. So now same way 
I have written here four more values of an individual person 153 height, 53.1 that is the weight, 144 is the height, 36.4 is the weight, 142 is the height, obviously in centimeter, and 30.7 is the weight in kg, and 146 is the height in centimeter, and 35.5 is the weight in kg. So, raise four you do at your home and uh, find out the value of BMI of that individual and also write that is underweight or normal weight or overweight. Same way you can do your one also. First of all you measure your height in centimeter then convert it into meter and you measure your weight and then do the same process and then you will get your own BMI and then follow the range you are underweight or normal weight, overweight or obese. So same way you can do your work. So today up to these students, I hope you all have understood very nicely. So in coming days, I will come to the channel with more interesting topics. Uh, your practicals will also be there, though you can't do the practicals right now. Uh, after the opening of the school, you will uh, get the chance to do the practical with your own hand. But now I will, though I will try to uh, show how you can do the practicals. So with the practical topic, I will come next day. So today up to this, I hope you all have understood very nicely. So thank you. Visit again.